Let's look at a post widget that comes with the element pack by BD Themes for both the pro and free versions of Elementor. And this is a very simple widget, but very useful one. And I've seen quite a few places where I've had in the past actually needed this kind of widget. It is so simple that you're probably going to ask yourself, why doesn't every page builder includes such a widget? Well, let's go have a look at what the single post does. And here I am on a page that I've preloaded. It's an adventure page. So this is not a news section. It's more a promotion section, probably a landing page. And then you have here a few things that you can do, etc. What I want to do is that I actually want to just bring in a post one of my posts. I've written lots of posts and I just want to bring in one and put it here because maybe it is related only to this page. So what I do is I'm going to add, let's say I'm going to add a section here and I'm going to then drag in that one, go to the Elementor editor and type in single post. And then you will see it has a little pin with the EP for element pack in the top right hand corner. Grab it drag it and let go. And this widget is as simple as it gets with its features. First, you have to select a post name. And this is very important. This is a single post. You're only able to select one post to display at this moment. So I am going to select this one called Shopping Heaven. So you can see I have two pre-made posts one called Shopping Heaven and the other one where everything is tipsy topsy. So I'm going to be choosing this Shopping Heaven and it will load my post for me. And if you work with posts regularly, you will immediately understand all the content that you are witnessing here. You see your featured image, you see your title, you see over here categories and here is your date for your meta function. Now, Tag, there are no tags. So if I switch off the tag, you're going to see nothing happens. If I switch off the title, you will see that the shopping heaven goes away. Let's leave that on. Link title, nothing there, right? So I don't have anything for a link title. Then the date, okay, you see the date, and then the category. So in total, I've got three categories here, separated by commas, Africa, Cape Town, and travel. And this is as much what you can do with the content. Then you can do some styling with it. You can change the color and the topography. So if we go to shopping heaven and we can choose change the color, let's change the color to this. No, let's put it on this one. Before I do that, let's change the overlay. I want to change the overlay to the orange. Okay, nice. And you can change the amount of opacity. It's a nice blending mode. I'm going to leave it at full. Don't be shy when you play with overlay to leave it quite high. In fact, let me just see if I reduce this opacity. Okay, right. I'll just leave it a little bit there for that. Okay, let's go back to the title. And now that I have it on the darker, let's choose your play fair. Play fair display. And then I'm going to increase the size immediately. It starts looking real snazzy. I like that a lot. And anything else I want to change here? No, I'm happy with that. You can change the date. I think I'll change the date also to a darker color and give it a little bit of oomph. Otherwise, it's just too small for me. There we go. And for, let's see, that's too wait and narrow. I'll transform it to, no, no, style, italic, good. And then over here, we can go to category and you can change the category color. So you can do it like this. <laughs> Same, right? Color changes again there. And then the topography. And then we have your meta separate color and to choose yellow and I see nothing oh there is the meta that changes over there right so there you go that's everything that you can do with it 
One thing that I need to show you is that though with the tags, if you look at examples from BD themes, is that you with the tags will probably have these little boxes that pop up. Great. Everything that you can do with it, it's nice and simple and you can bring it in onto your page and you have this. For me, this single post is a little bit too big. It's quite possible that you want to have the post with maybe a travel schedule next to it. In that case, you're going to make another column over here and then you can bring your travel schedule in over here. Just to note that if you want to put two single posts next to each other, you can, but you will have to take into consideration the dimensions and ratio of your single post featured images. So if I click on this one and I choose the other one that says where everything is tipsy topsy, you're going to see it's not going to align because the image is bigger than this one and I'll have to go and check, play around with my font. But if you have two images that are very similar or that are exactly the same, then you can put them next to each other and they will display very nicely. And now for this one, you can even go and change your overlay to something else and you have some harmonious effect over there. Of course, if I click on it, let's go look on the front end, see how it displays and then preview. It will take me to my post and this post is currently rendered in, I think, Ocean WP. So I'm using the very standard free Ocean WP here at this moment. Right. And that is the single post, a very nice feature. I often have this feeling that I'm busy with a topic and I want to just add something there that is related to it. Just one article, not something that is very dynamic, just a single post. And here it goes. It's even called a single post. This is websites for beginners. Thank you very much. Enjoy this video. And if you have any comments, please let us know below. And any feedback is also highly welcomed.